At 12 years old, Austin Russell solved the problem of not having his cell phone uniquely. He built one using only a Nintendo DS, the internet, and his great mind, Orange County Register. I guess I did memorize the periodic table. I think I was around two or so, says Austin. If that doesn't impress you enough, at 17, Austin spent his spare time researching laser optic technology and watching online lectures by Stanford University, which he later attended as a physics major. He also dreamed of having his own company. Here is everything about him, so let's start. There is a new entrepreneur in charge of the tech industry. Austin Russell is 26 years old, and he was born in the state of California because of a particular purpose acquisition company, SPAC, transaction in December 2020. His company, Luminar Technologies, became publicly traded, resulting in him becoming a billionaire. His current wealth is estimated to be 1.7 billion US dollars, the youngest self-made billionaire in the world, who was just recently included on the prestigious 40 under 40 list of 2021 by Forbes, is currently enjoying his success and living large as a result. The following are some things about him that you ought to be aware of. He didn't finish college. When Russell was a student at Stanford University, he was working on his physics degree, when he had his inspiration for an automotive sensor technology that would become Luminar Technologies' most significant achievement. When the event occurred, he was 17 years old. However, he did not remain for very long, after receiving a scholarship of US $100,000 from Peter Thiel, a billionaire investor in technology and the co-founder of PayPal. He left school in the same year, 2012. Russell explained his decision to leave school saying, when you have this core urge to be able to build and create, it's hard to do that in an academic context. Russell dropped out of school to pursue his passion for building and creating. Newport Beach was the birthplace of Russell, who was welcomed into a wealthy family there. According to the website dedicated to real estate, Dirt, his father, Michael Russell, was employed in commercial real estate. His mother, Shannon Clay, worked as a model and an actress on a soap opera, The Young and the Restless. Both of their names have been shortened. Building Luminar Technologies When Austin Russell created Luminar Technologies in 2012 in California, he was only 17 years old. Shortly after he established the company, he recruited Jason Aschenholz to work alongside him in it. Both as a co-founder and the chief technology officer, they went into stealth mode for the following five years of the company's existence. When Russell first started Luminar, he aimed to develop and manufacture LiDAR technology with a higher resolution and greater range. He he was successful in his endeavor because he fabricated the lot components himself rather than depending on products already available on the market. At highway speeds, he was able to extend the amount of time that automotive lighter gives a car to react safely to 7 seconds. This allowed the vehicle to avoid collisions. After observing his advancements, Russell decided to reassess their criteria for the operating wavelength of the lighter devices. In the visible spectrum, lighter functions at 905 nanometers. However, Luminar LiDAR operates in the infrared spectrum at 1550 nanometers. Because of this, their signal is now outside the range of visible light, meaning it is safe for human eyes to look at even more incredible power levels. Growing Luminar Luminar decided to come out of stealth mode in April 2017 after having been in it for five years and receiving $36 million in series of funding. The decision came after Luminar had been in stealth mode. They successfully produced 10,000 automotive lighters in the plan they had established in Orlando. Thanks to the funding that was provided, after a few months had passed, Luminar announced that they had forged a relationship with the research and development section of Toyota, known as the Toyota Research Institute. This division focuses on autonomous vehicles, robotics, and artificial intelligence. The Platform 2.1 test vehicles owned by Toyota are a fleet of self-driving sedans, and the company has decided to install Luminar devices in those vehicles. Luminar has formed strategic alliances with a significant number of businesses during its history. By 2018, they had already moved on to the seventh iteration of their application-specific integrated circuit design, also known as the ASIC, which was a fully integrated technology stack. They continued expanding their operations, and by April 2018, they had opened a new site in Colorado Springs. Along the way, a lot of talented people had joined the company, such as the former Uber executive Brent Schwartz, who joined the company to be their head of business development by the time September 2018 rolled around, and the former investment banker Tom Fenimore, 
who will take over as the company's new chief financial officer in May 2020. Other talented people who have also joined the company along the way at the same time in May 2020, Volvo then revealed that they would have launched a self-driving highway function called Highway Pilot. The third generation Luminars' Iris LiDAR powered this feature. In addition, Volvo stated that they will have launched this feature. Earning billions through public offerings, Luminar announced that it would be going public through the merger with the special purpose acquisition company in August 2020, eight years after the company was first established. They have also completed a merger with Gores Metropolos, which will result in their shares being listed on the Nasdaq, in addition to the cash infusion of $400 million from the Gores Metropolos and the additional funding of $170 million from Peter Thiel. Alec Gores, Volvo Cars Tech Fund, and other investors. The market cap of Luminar is currently estimated to be $3.4 billion. After Luminar went public on December 3, 2020, Russell kept his shares in the company, which amounted to 83% of the total, and he assumed the post of chairman of the board for the business. Today, their technology is employed by a variety of firms, one of which is SAIC Motor. They have broadened their market to companies from other countries by opening an office in Shanghai. He naturally owns multi-million dollar mansions. Russell has already mastered the art of spending his newly obtained fortune thanks to its successful career as a CEO. According to Dirt, the young billionaire purchased a mansion in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, for 83 million US dollars. The mansion is over 20,000 square feet in size and features a staggering 18 bathrooms in addition to six bedrooms. In addition to the Los Angeles estate, has an entrance to the bedroom via a retinal scanner, an outdoor cinema with seating for 20 people, and an automobile gallery. Additionally, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson lived in the neighborhood. In the meantime, the same publication reported that Russell had also purchased another estate. This time, it was a 13,000-square-foot mansion in Winter Park, Florida, which is situated 17 kilometers away from the headquarters of Luminar in Orlando. In addition to its 18-car garage, two kitchens, and drought-resistance astroturf lawns in the front and backyards, the Florida mansion features 10 bedrooms and 10.5 bathrooms. What is Luminar Technologies exactly? Austin, who works at Luminar, said the business manufacturer LiDAR sensors that allow autonomous vehicles to see and interpret the world. If you don't know physics, you may be confused by this consequences. LiDAR sensors are laser-based radars implanted in self-driving cars' eyes. They allow vehicles to see every object and person in their surrounding and respond to changes. Austin is sure his solution can save lives when deployed in advanced driver assistance systems like Volvo and Toyota. These systems should launch soon. Austin says even the most innovative systems could be more advanced. Therefore, they might create mishaps. He shows at a conference that more is needed with laser sensors than with other companies. Even the most excellent system can only recognize things 40 meters ahead of one second when driving at high speeds. Austin decided a new strategy was needed and revamped the system utilizing Luminar. His radar has 10 times the range of most advanced programs. Austin believes this program can see further than humans. The young millionaire wants to make autonomy as secure and pervasive as possible. He offers new ideas to the futuristic automotive sector. We look forward to his future projects. So, that's all for it for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.